Now, number six is a right confession. Right confession. In building wealth and getting out of poverty, your mouth has a role to play. Shockingly, everybody thinks it's only the hand and the mind. The hand and the mind is not the only thing. Your mouth has a role to play. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart from thy mouth, but thou shalt made it. Say, shall not depart from thy mouth. He didn't say from the, he said, from thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate upon it day and night, that thou mayest observe to do all that is written in it. Then you shall make your way prosperous, and you shall have good success. That means, any area of your life you want to succeed, your mouth has a, play to, a, a part to play. Your mouth must play in you being successful in any area of your life. Your mouth is not just a tool for communication and dispensing information. Your mouth is also a tool for creation. Your mouth creates. One thing I've discovered about poverty and poor people is that the enemy will fight and make sure that you will keep speaking poverty with your mouth. Check poor people. How one of the things we used to know poor people is that they speak scarcity. They are too conscious of scarcity. They complain and they talk about scarcity. Nothing is hard. In person, go feel survive. The way Nigerian dollar day Naya Walo is their mouth. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. Their mouth, they will keep speaking it. One thing I've discovered about wealthy people, successful people, is listening to what they say. Listen to Apostle Selman when he's preaching. See what he keeps saying. Listen to Bishop Oyerba when he's speaking. There is no doubt that Bishop Oyerba will preach that he will not shout, I cannot be poor. Listen to Pastor Chris. If there's no other thing you will learn from Pastor Chris, is his mouth. He, he keeps speaking, he don't stop saying it. See, if you can utilize this tool of your mouth, you can change your life. Do you know why? When I was thinking this, thing, I even started repenting because I was studying and my head was shouting. I discovered that whenever this thing is taught, we start it. After some time, we forget it. Then we go back to our life of speaking scarcity. Ah, husband, eh, I got no, I can make a wedding. No. You know those kind of things. Ah, they, we, are you sure we get the job? There is no job. How can you be looking for what does not exist? If you're looking for a job, why will you be saying there is no job and say you're looking for it? That means you're a madman. You should be saying, if it's only one opportunity, I'm the one. You go for interview, they say 100,000 people don't concern me. I am the one they will choose. Somebody shout, I am the one. I am the one. If there is no job description for me, they will create one. That is what, the, there was nothing like Prime Minister Joseph. That's what they said, the gift of a man will make a room. That means he comes and creates space for you. You can use your mouth and create your space for yourself in destiny. Learn to use your mouth. Your mouth is not just a tool for dispensing information. It's a tool for creation. Your words are not just sounds and noise. Your words are spirits. And spirits don't die. John chapter 6 verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profited nothing. The words I speak to you, they are spirit and their life. Do you know that this clan of people that run victory campaign in America is Kenneth Copeland, Glory Copeland, Cliff Rodola, Jesse Duplantis. Um, I'm trying to remember that. I tried listening to them about prosperity. In all their teaching, I wasn't seeing them talking some of the business. Everything they were saying, they were teaching the people confession. Kenneth Copeland has given over 30 planes, private jets. People dash sky, dash jets. He was showing a million dollars to rebunking crusades. And also a million dollars to one guy they call Baba. He does, cruc he does conferences in prisons. He gives a million dollars to him. He, spoke, he has spoken himself to the extent that he's 86 years now. He teaches without glasses. He has seen his fourth generation. And all of them are pastors. He didn't only speak to see them. He spoke them into the kingdom. You can speak your children into the kingdom. See, I am a product of my mother's speakings. Beyond prayers, there's what is called speakings. My mother spoke me into, my mother will be looking at me and shout, Ike, 
I have given you to God. Don't tell him so he has seed. <laughs> when I was living a rough life, God was, he was saying, he the Bible. It is in my mind I saw that you can you. That's why every time I'm telling you, I'll be prophesying to you. You know what I'm doing. I'm speaking into you that you can never fail. Amen. Be wise to always go under where they speak to you and you speak to yourself. Can a copeland speaks to his organs? All the pastors at the same level with him have died. He's still alive. He will speak. There's one that his his daughter in his uh, daughter in you know, um, Kenneth Hagin's daughter in law is about 60 something or 70 years. But she will tell you that her heart and her life is 30 something years. And it's like they check the heart and discover that her heart is a 30 something year old child. She said her life started when she gave her life to Christ. So when you ask her how old she is, she will give you two ages. My flesh is 65. My heart is that. So in the morning, when she wake up, she will say, my heart is in order. 30 year old. My lungs are working. My, and he keeps speaking. Your father spoke to create. Why are you not speaking to create? I can't look for jobs. Customers are looking. See, don't speak what you see. Speak what you want to see. Sir, bring out your wallet and speak to your wallet. Now, this is what I'm saying now. Eh, the secular world will fight you. But let me show you. That's how the secular world also behaves. They will come in one tiny branch. I said, we'll have 100 branches. We'll have branch in America. We'll have inside. And they will put what they call vision boards. And you will see the MD speaking. I was watching Jack Ma speaking to his people and saying whatever Silicon Valley is doing, we will do greater. At the time he was speaking, he couldn't pay salary to his workers. Bob Mark, Zuckerberg, even the owner of um, I, I, iPhone, said we don't need the help. We don't need to work with other phones. That's why when iPhone was created, they could not work with other phones. You can't transfer things. They say we will become a global brand only for the prestigious. That only prestigious people will buy our products. Now in movies, to show somebody's weed is holding an iPhone. To show somebody's world he's holding an iPhone. If he's holding laptop, I, I, I laptop. I, he said our brand will be the number one. The richest of the richest will want to use our brand. They kept speaking it and they saw it. Our problem is equal to H I'm going to show you scriptures to discern that in the journey of wealth creation, your mouth is also involved. I will be a millionaire. I will not lack. Hunger will not come near me. I saw your, see, no matter what, you don't have money, you'll be saying, ah. You, well, even when you call a friend, say, no, nah, my friend, just give me 10,000. He said, ah, wow, you took the ass of money. He said, no, no, try him. I, I'm very wealthy. My money is too much. It's just for now. I will dash one million very soon. Don't worry. 